Hey, so working in a tackle shop uh, and helping people throughout the years, and a lot of people come in here and ask, I'm just getting into fishing. I have uh, no rod, no reel. Hook me up. Get me set up. And uh, I have developed this system that kind of helps people get to fishing real quick without breaking the bank. And uh, I've repeated this, this same spiel over and over to people throughout the years. And I figured, you know what, since I've done it so many times, I might as well just make a YouTube video about it. And maybe it'll help other people decide what's the best setup for them at this juncture. So here is my, when people come in asking, hook me up, get me fishing. This is what I tell them. I'm going to try to do this in like a point of view, like you're the customer. And uh, this is what you'll see if you come in and ask me this question. So hopefully I won't have to repeat it too many more times. We always try to help out new people just starting out. We're probably the best shop on the island to do so. We're very patient. We're somewhat knowledgeable. Uh, High Fish Gear is our website, highfishgear.com. And we're located in Neville Beach on the corner of Fort Weaver and Papipi Road, 91775. You can come see us anytime or just watch this video. You can come in and say, I want the same package that you just talked about on the YouTube video. All right, here we go. So first thing I like to ask people is what style of fishing you want to do. There's usually two styles of fishing that we do here. One is called whipping and one is called dunking. Dunking is the one where you're more chilled, you're more relaxed, you get to go to the beach and just kind of hang out. Most people just starting out, that's the kind of what, the one they want. Whipping is a more active, you're walking around the beach, you're casting and retrieving, and it, it, it's, it takes a little bit more of a toll on people. But dunking is the, most, the, the side that most people want to go. And this is the rod that I show most people. This is not the best rod on the market. It's not the worst rod on the market. It's a 10 foot spinning pole. It comes with a rod and a reel. It's less than $100 retail. Um, and it's just big enough to where you can land almost, almost anything that a you know, beginner fisherman can usually do, uh, take on. And I'm suggesting this one because it is, it's 10 foot. And the reason why I suggest a 10 foot rod is no matter most of the places you're gonna go is gonna be on the beach and the reason why I suggest a 10-foot pole is that while you're fishing the, the height of the pole allows people that are just taking a stroll down the beach to be able to walk under your line without having to go all the way around you and interrupting their flow so it's two-piece rod and you can it's basically easy it fits in any car all right so now that we got the rod out of the way the next thing I like to tell people is there is no salt water fishing license required in Hawaii but there are state regulations and we give out a lot of these like quite a bit this is the Hawaii fishing regulations um, this is the current one from November 2019 all the way till present and I like to just tell people look there's there's pictures in here of all the fish and all the invertebrates that there's regulations on and I like to tell people a little cheat code if there's a regulation on the fish that usually means it tastes good and make sure that the people get one of these and then also if you're not too if people aren't too familiar with fishing we also give them this little printout and this printout is a, a basic whipping setup and also a dunking setup a little way to tie some rigs just some examples to kind of guide them on the way so we got your regulation book we got your printout we got your rod what i'm going to do now is i'm going to lay out everything i think you might need you can pick and choose to decide what you maybe you already have something maybe you have access to something that a friend has but I'll lay everything out and I'll explain what it's for and then you can go ahead and pick and choose what you want to take today. So what I laid out here on the counter is everything that you'll need to go fishing today except for bait. And of course I've already recorded a video on where to find bait here locally. So uh, as you see right here is the rig. And what I'll do is I'll show you everything that I think you're going to need. First thing, this is 25 pound test. That's what the rod is rated up to. You're going to need main line for your reel. Um, you can use whatever's remaining on the spool as your leader, which is the one that comes off of the swivel to your hook. Speaking of hooks, I have two different sizes of hooks for you, one size 16, one size 12. These are two basic sizes. You always size the hook to your bait. So if you're gonna be using squid or you're gonna be using shrimp or something, you sh this, these two size hooks should, should encompass everything you need. Uh, you also need some swivels. This is how to rig up a three-way swivel. One pack will do you good. You can always come back and grab more if you need to. And then of course you're gonna need lots of lead, which we do have quite a bit. The rod's rated up to five ounces. I usually tell people that four ounces is gonna be good enough. Here's a five pack bundle of that. The last thing you're gonna need is what we call kind of a doo-doo line. It's a, it's a light, very cheap line. It's only three bucks. 
and you're going to use that for your lead line. The lead line is, so what happens is when you fish, the lead will get stuck and you want a line that's lighter than your main line at 25 pound test. This is 10 pound test. If your lead gets stuck, it'll break and you'll get your swivel and your hook with your leader back. Also, if a big fish comes and hits it, it'll also break so the fish can break free and swim and you can fight the fish to come in. The other thing I'm going to suggest is going to be a sand spike. I don't know if you want to go ahead and just sit there on the beach holding your pole all day. Most people don't. This is a $20 locally made PVC sand spike with aluminum sand spike. As you see, it's already compacted. They call it a folding sand spike. You unscrew this wing nut all the way almost to the end. And then this is, uh, you flip it around and then you screw it back in. The butt of your rod goes in the base of this. And then this allows you to kind of fish hands free while you're dunking. Um, we'll give you a total on all this. And if you can decide what you want to keep, take and keep, usually it comes out to a little under 130 bucks. That's pretty much the basic setup. This is something that I go through with people that come into the store and say, I'm just getting into fishing, or they're looking for a second setup, or they're trying to get their kids into fishing. This is the setup I usually go to. It's kind of like what you would buy at the big box stores. It's about the same price. This is about this is um, something that's just tried and true. Like I said, it's not the best rod on the market. It's not the worst. And of course, we do sell higher end rods that can go up to 300. But what I like is when somebody's just starting fishing, don't go break in the bank. You don't know if you're gonna like it yet. You might, turns out you go fishing a couple times. This is gonna wind up in the closet collecting dust. I don't want you to hate me later for upselling you $400 worth of fishing gear when you could have figured out what you wanted with less, less than 200. That's pretty much it. Um, a lot of these things, this rod right here, we don't sell on the website, but if you ever come into the shop, we're more than happy to sell it to you. This is more for, uh, these don't ship very well. That's the reason why we have them here in the shop only and not online. Um, if you're looking for dunking setup, we have tons of spinners, tons of uh, tons of spinning rods, tons of spinning reels, all these line, all this lead, swivels, hooks. If you need a regulations book, just leave in the notes on the uh, on your order on highfishgear.com. If you need a regulation book, if we can do it, we'll send it in your order. Also, if you need a printout, one of these printouts, we print out probably 20 to 30 of these every week. People just kind of need a little bit of guidance, a little bit of help. That's the reason why we uh, we made this. I used to draw these out and I figured, you know what? It's time, let me just print, make one up with the Photoshop. And uh, we've been, like I said, we've been giving these out for years. That's pretty much it. If you got any questions, or any, you can feel free to ask them in the comments here. Or if you want, you can message us on Instagram, at High Fish Gear. I answer pretty much every DM that comes in every day. Make sure you follow us on at High Fish Gear on Instagram. And uh, if you're here first time, Make sure you like and subscribe. Aloha. You're working all week and you know more time to fill your tackle box. Just go online to highfishgear.com and buy your fishing stuff.